Hello everybody and welcome back uh, to Persona. Ba -na -na -ba -na -na -ba -ba. Alrighty, so you'll be happy to know I did not farm. Alright, let's go. What do you want to do? Go into the real world. <laughs> I didn't farm. Uh I just I have a feeling we'll be fine, but also I might die a couple times, so we'll just we'll see what happens. We're just gonna go for it. Yeah. <sighs> You're back. Sorry. All I can do is welcome you home. Beep 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 beep. beep. We finally made it. <coughs> All that matters is to actually send the calling card. Looks like we'll manage to. <laughs> Ooh, ah! Looks like we'll manage to get it out before that investigation starts going down too. We still don't know anything about the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns, though. I wonder if we'll learn anything from Nijima-san's shadow. I doubt she has ascertained any relevant clues. I agree. That is why she has the worn out on the Phantom Thieves, after all. Furthermore, the public believes arresting us will solve the case. The public prosecutors won't stop now. They have, they have the weight of the general public on their shoulders. If only we knew who the true culprit was, we wouldn't have to fight Nijima-san's shadow. Who could it be? Do you think it's someone we know? I think it's a catchy coon. That's a possibility. True, but there would be no end to the mistrust if we began doubting our peers. Either way, we only have one opportunity to turn the tables. This final calling card shall be my magnum opus. Simply let us know when you're ready, Shadow. Right then, I shall do just that. Ooh, crossword! Hey, hey. Actually, we're already max knowledge, right? We don't need this. Eh. We'll do it anyway. Medicine of varying legality. Poppy product. Import illegally. Uh. N I C O T I N E. No, it's not that. Is it marijuana? No, there's not enough for that. <laughs> also, there's no J. Uh, unless I'm spelling... Hmm. A varying legality. I mean, it has to be the green stuff, right? Okay, I was thinking we're way too hard on it. I've got it. This term applies to any medicine that dulls the senses, but is more often used as a generic term for both legal and illegal drugs being misused. Morphine, a comic narcotic, you... Oh. Let me try that again. Morphine, a comic... Common narcotic, used as a painkiller in many med medical facilities, is named after Morpheus. <laughs> Uh, the guy from that movie, you know, where they take off the sunglasses? The Greek god of sleep. All right. I see. Oh, wow, you're so nice. smart. Oh, my God. Except I'm already max rank. Nice. Okay, I'm going to check out my plant, and then I'm going to do uh, sweeping up bathroom stuff. Nice. All right, it looks pretty healthy. Proficiency is already max as well. Share. Hey. No, I didn't want to relax. Oh. All right, I guess we're chilling out. Maximum knowledge, somewhat close to charm. Maximum proficiency, guts is nowhere close, and kindness is getting there. Okay. I don't think we're doing that bad on our stats, truthfully. Hey. I think we're keeping up, but we are going to do some of this. Oh, well, I'd certainly appreciate that. I'm sweeping the floor. It's gonna look real good. Hey. Good night. 
Uh. Enough is enough! Is the admin an accomplice? Dr. Murky's leaving, are you kidding me? This is so sad. I think I know who the Phantom Thieves are. If we report them, when will, will we get 30 million yen? Well, I just report anyone who seems suspicious. Imagine if you could just report anyone and be thirty million dollars richer. <laughs> All right, let's see. <clears throat> it's already November. We've gone through pretty much all the school events now, so that frees you up for studying. It'll be getting colder from now on, so wrap up warm and don't get sick. I mean it. If you even think you've got a fever, then go see the nurse. Oh, speaking of the nurse's office, Dr. Maruki is going to be leaving us on the 18th. If you need to talk to him, now's the time. He was kind of a quiet guy, but it was nice having him around. I'll be kind of sad to see him go. So... If he helped any of you feel better, make sure you thank him before he's gone. Anyway, time to start class. Hmm. Man, time really flies. A whole year's gone by already. Interesting. So you're, you're like on a time limit to get him to max? Or maybe you could just call him up or something? Was school always like this? Don't it feel kind of different than usual? Do you think? I'm getting a weird feeling too. What do you mean? It, it's like the people around us seem restless or something. Pretty unsettling, right? Something's different. Is it just me that thinks nothing has changed? Nothing seems unusual on my end. What about you, Makoto? Someone ask for me? <laughs> Everything's normal over here. You know, not in school. We most certainly did not ask for you. <laughs> Is Makoto sick today? Sorry, I only just noticed a chat right now. I think everyone's just agitated by the Phantom Thieves rumors. Also, I'm paying attention in class, unlike all of you. <laughs> Try not to be affected by the people around you. It's important to stay calm in times like these. By the way, uh, in case you're watching this episode and did not watch the one where we officially got drawing uh where we officially got her the reason i'm doing that voice is because that's the voice that i was doing when she was the stranger who was texting us so it just made sense to keep it since she likes to keep you know like her face covered and stuff Alrighty, let's see hang on hide up we going oh yeah all we got to do now is send the calling card so when do you want to send it the earlier the better right no in my opinion, we should wait until right before the time limit. May I ask your reasoning behind that idea? Sai-san is a realist, even if she believes the Phantom Thieves exist. Do you think she knows how they steal hearts? Furthermore, there is a chance she expects that she herself will be targeted. So because her heart is ready for any possibility, the calling card might not have enough effect? I only say that theoretically, but I believe so. Hence, it would be prudent for us to wait until we are driven into a corner to act. If we do so with no time to spare, I assume even Saison would have to be somewhat agitated. Hmm. Ensuring the treasure actually appears. That sounds quite logical. Impressive, Akachi-kun. Though, it is a bit vexing that you know more about my sister than I do. <laughs> oh, that's only because of my work as a detective. Well then, if our time limit is November 20th, and we act the day after sending the calling card, shall we send it out on the 18th? We should prepare as much as we can before then. Well, I can't complain about having more time. Make sure you're ready, everyone. See, the thing about that, and I actually feel Akechi might be wrong here. <laughs> Deleted by admin. 
if we wait until we're backed into a corner, then she's gonna think... Or, no, rather, if we wait until two days before, then she's gonna have 17 days to mentally prepare herself for the Phantom Thieves backlashing onto her, which she already knows that they go after high-profile people. So, she's gonna be like, okay, the closer I get to revealing them, they're gonna get agitated, they're gonna come for me, I need time to prepare. So therefore, <coughs> I actually think it's a better idea to do it now. Let's do it. That being said though, I'm just gonna <coughs> real quick do, uh, do a little bit of that. We're going now. You'd like to wait on the calling card until the 18th, correct? Yeah, he would. I don't. Saison will come to recognize the danger most effectively if she believes she has already won. In that case, let's keep prepping until then. Oh, you're forcing me? Uh, okay. I think it's a bad idea. I think we should just do it now before she has any time to mentally prepare. That way, she gets scared because she thinks that we have outclassed her, which she doesn't like. She doesn't like being outclassed. She said it herself. She wants to be the only winner. So if we already have a step above on her, what's she going to do? She's going to get freaked out. She's going to be like, they they already know? See what I mean? I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I think it's a bad idea to wait. I think Akechi is getting way too much say. I think we're trusting his word way too much. We should just do it in the here and now, but... What are you gonna do? Should I summon everyone? <laughs> why does it, it say it like that? Um, who can we hang out with? Let me see. On is already Max. Apparently we can rank up with Makoto, but we don't have Max Charm, so she won't let us hang out. Because we're not attractive enough, I guess. There's the Gamer King. Hmm. Uh, I don't... I don't know who I want to hang out with. And it's a Tuesday, so there's no reason to go to a, uh... To the Maid Club. Can I hang out with Ryuji? I actually think I'm gonna do that. Student Council Room. Rooftop. Oh, hi! Can I hang out with you? Just need to wait until the day of the announcement. I'll be taking care of these plants until then. Did you need something? Hi. Thank you. Hey. In that case, I'd like to use this opportunity to bring my most recent harvest to Sakura-san. Hey. I'd like to stop by LeBlanc today. Could you join me? Sure. I'm so glad. Let us go and hang Hello, Sakura -san. out. Oh. I'm sorry for asking this of you. Sorry, I was singing. It's all good. Not like I have customers to deal with. So, this is what you grew? Yes. I'd like an honest opinion from a culinary professional. Let me see. Hmm. To be honest, both the taste and appearance are the opposite of what I'd call market grade. I see. But it's impressive you managed to grow anything at all up on a rooftop of all places. I'm honored to hear you say that. You know, I can't say it tasted good, but it was actually somewhat refreshing. Kind of like how you feel good after taking bitter medicine. Hmm. I first came across the plant in my house. It's possible that it's an experimental breed created for use at Okumura Foods. Thank you very much for the input, Sakura-san. I'll take note of that. I'm <laughs> so happy to hear that. Haru's vegetables also... No. They have a bitterness to them, but also exude a strong energy. He's right. That was the same thought I had. I think I understand what Sakura-san meant when he said they were refreshing. 
The sun-bathed vegetables seem to fill me with energy. They may prove useful during palace forays. Oh yeah, and we can't forget we can always agree. summon... Why? Oh, I'm saying summon now. Um, a certain Becky quote-quote maid to help us out if we ever need it. Which is something I forgot about, but I'm that's fine. I'm so happy. I didn't expect this hobby of mine to provide value to the Phantom Thieves. This is actually the only thing I can honestly say I'm good at. It sounds like hard work. Gardening really Thank is. Thank you for worrying about me, but I find the work relaxing. Okay, when I when I would help my my Oma, uh, that great grandma basically in German, um, and by the way, I probably say it wrong, but I said it that way my whole life. I'm not gonna say it differently now. When I would help her garden, not that I did very often. It was mainly a when I was younger thing, which, hey, I definitely should have. But what are you gonna do? It, it, I remember it always being really d difficult. Flowers, especially, were like some of the hardest things for young me to put in the ground. <laughs> it's like, oh, we're just putting seeds? Easy. Dig, dig. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Cover, cover. Water, water. Boom. Done. Easy. And then just water it every so often. Bada boom, bada bing. Flowers, on the other hand, well, that's not as simple as just dig, dig, push, push cover cover because you got to make sure it's actually gonna make sense it's not like sticking to the side it's got to be sticking it, it it was very stressful no but it wasn't stressful but it was for younger me it was kind of difficult to do hey um do you think you could help me out again sometime like you did today it's a deal <laughs> we're like real phantom thieves Okay, I'll do my best from now on. Well, that's the fun part, Haru. We are real phantom thieves. Haru seems a little more enthusiastic than before. Oh, but first, we're going back to the future, back to the past, back to the future, back to the past, back to the future. Ugh. Hey, I think I know. It seems you were probing into a certain conglomerate. There's the possibility you even infiltrated their company building. Perhaps some sort of connection? Tell me about this person. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Empress persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Empress obtained. Cultivation allows you to grow vegetables with Haru on the Shujin Academy rooftop. All right. Which probably give you SP back, if I had to guess. Growing vegetables with Haru. You can ask Haru, who has an incredible green thumb, to grow vegetables for you. They're full of energy and grant a variety of effects when used as items. They may prove useful when exploring the metaverse. Still, he was right. The taste leaves much to be desired. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Your feedback on the vegetables was a big help. Oh, if there are any vegetables you'd like in particular, just let me know. I certainly have plenty of seeds. <coughs> So if you have a preference, I'll prioritize growing those first. Uh, definitely not tomatoes. Thanks, I'm counting on you. <laughs> of course, I won't let you down. I may not be very good yet, but I'll contribute to the Phantom Thieves in my own way. Alright, I'm gonna head home for the day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, she said bye too. Hey, how about that? It's almost like saying bye is a regular thing right here. <laughs> ah, you're Hello. Back. Beep, 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 beep. Hey. Hey, inmate. Hello. I have not forgotten, I swear. You haven't forgotten about your special assignment, have you? You better not keep us waiting long. We're waiting in front of our door. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right there. Hey. All right. You have that PC tool set, but you don't have anything to fix. No, no reason to let it go to waste. Maybe there's something we could fix up at the second hand shop. But... Ooh, 
Ugh. Well, I'm definitely not hanging out with you, but you're making me choose between <laughs> between my girls and the girl. Oh, oh, this one's so important. Okay, hang on. Idea, right? Hang on. We basically have free time right now. Let's see Chahaya today, and tomorrow we'll go see the girls. How about that? All right. Uh, give me a second on her voice. It's been a minute. Thanks. Okay, then. I'll see you soon. Hello. The thing is, so I got all the members of the ADP together and gave them a big group apology. They didn't really believe what I was saying at first, but the truth of the matter settled in eventually. It's just... However, it seems like all the members from the executive class are still brainwashed. I'm in talks with a lawyer right now, though. We're going to get refunds and outpatient care for all of them. I'm going to give back all the money I made from selling holy stones, too. It's the least I can do to... A tone for the ignorance I showed back then. That's why I want you to accept this, Kitty. Think of it as not only an apology, but as a sign of gratitude for helping me see the truth. <laughs> is, isn't this what I spent on the first Holy Stone? Jeez, we have so, we so much money. Maiden, I'm so happy to see you. What? Yakota-san, what are you all doing here? That apology you gave us was all made up, wasn't it? Somebody had to have forced you to say that stuff. I mean, the chairman was obviously framed. Tell us the truth, please. No. Um. N none of it was made up. Um. As for the chairman, I, I need you to listen to me. Everything he told you in those seminars was a lie. The promises of a great future, the power of the holy stones, the need for donations, all lies. Doesn't it seem strange that he kept asking members for money, even... <coughs> Excuse me? Even through times of financial stress? And beyond that, you guys should have known better than anyone where those donations were ending up. Hmm. Even I knew how horrible the ADP scheme was. That's why I had to come forward. No, that can't be true. Yeah, are you the one who did this to our beautiful maiden? You should listen to her. You shut your mouth. Please stop this. He has nothing to do with your situation. I'm the one who sold you those rocks. If you're going to get upset with anyone, it should be me. But, Maiden... This can't be happening. No. We must continue to place our trust in her. Please, Maiden, cleanse us of our misery. <laughs> if you leave us now, we will be fated to drown in sorrow. Uh. Look, the, the only way you can change that is with your own convictions. Neither I nor one of those worthless stones will be able to help you. <laughs> but then... <laughs> Dude, why am I making her... <laughs> Most unorthodox. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making her sound like that, but whatever. That's what we're going... <laughs> that's what we're going with now, I guess. But, but then, how are we supposed to avoid our painted misery? No, a curse is upon us. Maiden, please. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, ooh, wait a minute. Hang on. Oh, will you shut your traps? Y'all need to simmer down and listen to what I have to say for once. Whether you're going to be miserable or not... <laughs> this is starting southern. Whether you're gonna be miserable or not, it's gonna be your own dang shoulders. 
You don't need some divine power mumbo jumbo to be changing your fate. Y'all got that strength in yourselves. Fortune's telling. Fortune telling can't hold a candle to honest to goodness willpower. And heck, even if things are bad now, it'll all be fine so long as you keep your heads up. Oh, um. Oh, uh, I'm. I'm sorry about that. All this stress caused me to lapse into my country dialect. But. <clears throat> I stand by what I said. Nothing will ever change if all you do is rely on others. Take me, for example. I thought I was destined to live as a monster, but I had the strength to reverse that. If you want to control your future, that's all you need. Strength. The only way forward is through the fortitude of your own heart. My heart? Might not be the easiest thing to accomplish at first. After all, your willpower has been constantly suppressed by all those seminars and donations. I'm partially to blame for that. I'm here with you. But that's why I need to show you the light now and help you push on. Ma maiden. No, I'm not your maiden anymore. I'm just Chihaya Mifune, the fortune teller who guides fate. <sighs> I wonder if Yokota-san and the others will be okay. I know how they feel, though. They want to cling on to the Holy Stones, just as I clung to my role as the Maiden. Oh, all any of us ever wanted to was, was to be happy, to avoid our fates. <laughs> I... Uh, well... Fate can be changed. I know she regrets it. Right. I did it. So I'm sure Yakota-san and the others will be able to as well. No matter how many times I have to try, I, I will talk to them until they understand. And then when they realize the difficult truth, I will be there to help them recover. Back in my village, people called me a monster. Here, they reversed, revered me as the Maiden. Even now, my heart continues to wander. Yet, you somehow saw the real me. <laughs> not the Maiden. Not a monster. Just Jahaya. Thank you. Yeah, uh, you know, it's, <coughs> it's no problem. That's what I do. I can sense a deep bond from Jahaya. All right. Noise. <laughs> By the way, has anyone told you you're a bit nosy? <laughs> yes. In real life, too, because I'm very nosy. I mean, normally someone wouldn't want to think to involve themselves in such a strenuous ordeal. Um. So, um, there's actually something I've been wondering for a while now. Is... Fortune telling the only reason you come to see me? I it's not, is it? But you can go out with Chihaya, are you serious? She'd probably be a really sweet one. But, uh. Mm. Uh. Look. Out of all waifus, you're up there. You're real up there. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, I ain't no two time and tons of fun sort of lad. Plus, the one I'm with would probably, you know, uh, paralyze me in my sleep. But anyway, I like having my fortunes read. Uh, oh, I see. Sorry, I, I suppose I was just feeling a bit self conscious. But. But there's nothing better than the knowledge my readings. than knowing. My readings help others. Please come have your fortune read as often as you'd like. After all, we'll forever be joined in our quest to oppose fate. Well then. Anyway, I should be going. Until next time. Man, every... Beep, 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 beep. 
every other girl except on takes that so well the friend zoning on was like and then runs away dude she had me by the heartstrings i'm just saying on worst girl <laughs> <laughs> I kid, of course. Except we're dating because she is the worst girl there. But... Uh, oh, it's me. I'm sorry for calling so soon. I, I know we just saw each other. There's something I really wanted to tell you. You're the reason I managed to talk to Yakota-san and everyone. I plan on doing all I can to support everyone at the ADP for a while. If you're in any trouble... Please feel free to stop by for a consultation anytime. I want one of those stones. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what? She could use a joke. She could use a joke. What? You want a holy stone? Come on. Enough with the jokes, mister. <laughs> Come on. It lightens the mood. Come on. We've still got loads of problems, but I'm going to work hard, and we'll solve them all one by one. After all, I'm Chahaya Mifune, fortune teller and emissary of fate. Yes, you are. <laughs> Whoops, I guess I sounded a little too full of myself just then. Maybe I'm not a monster or a maiden. I'm just Chahaya. So if you're ever in trouble, remember you can always come to me, okay? Well, good night and sweet dreams. Wednesday. All right, now we will go hang out hey. with them. Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Ready to read something. All right, let's see. We don't have anything going, do we? Okay, in that case, find the guts. You know what? Guts, we like guts. Big guts value. A heart without hesitation is the essence of a Bushido. Mm. You know, you bet the spirit of the samurai seems useful, but this book looks difficult. You're right about that. It's going to take me three different times to finish. Hey, hey. Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading, so how far did you get? Eh, seems like you still have some pages left. You should continue another time. Well, it was an efficient use of it, though. Good morning. Hello. I don't like how much control you have over us going to the palace, but oh well. Mm. Good morning, Shadow. I was working late yesterday, so I'm tired today. Speaking of which, I trust you haven't forgotten about the deadline. I'm going to give it ev I'm ah, I'm going to give it everything I have for your sakes as well. Also, once the Phantom Thieves finish this final job, I don't think I'll be seeing you privately like this anymore. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, it's just how it sounds. Once you've disbanded, everyone's going to be busy tracking down the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. Until that happens, though, let's continue to work together. Now then, I'll be going. Bro, why do you sound so... Suspicious every time we talk. Oh, that's disappointing. I've been a teacher for 20 years now. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Dude, have you in school ever... Okay, you, you have a substitute teacher. You know where I'm going with this. It's great. The class is good. You put on like a movie or something. You write notes. Bada boom, bada bing. Class is over. And then you go in like the next day and your actual teacher is there... And they go, I've been a teacher for 20 years now, and I've never received a note this bad before. <laughs> the amount of times I heard that was crazy. Apparently, every single one of my teachers got the worst note they've ever seen from a substitute. Apparently. <laughs> That's what that, the start of the sentence reminded me of. Oh. oh. There were those incidents in April, then the Phantom Thieves and the Principal. <sighs> yes, as you young folk might say, the situation is indeed quite whack. Perhaps you're wondering why I use such hip terminology, hmm? Now then, me. Huh? Me? Ah, let's see how you're doing. <laughs> the word whack 
was originally part of a code used by an ancient thieves. Can you tell me what the meaning of the word whack in thieves is can't? Uh, <laughs> a big whacking stick. Um, it was, it was like, hey, whack that guy. You know, like take him out, right? So sneak attack. A share of stolen goods? Huh? I've never heard whack used like that. This is it. Oh, not bad. Correct. You know a lot about this, do you? I dare say you must be pretty whack yourself. I'm joking, of course. Still, you must be quite diligent in your studies. Perhaps level five in knowledge? Thieves of olden days might have worked in groups, but at the end of the day, they all expected to get their cut. If you wanted your part of a haul of riches your group stole, you would demand your whack, you see. I have never heard it said that way. That is the, probably the first time I've ever heard that. But, okay. If today's youth are freely using thieves as cant to each other in broad daylight, then truly we live in whack times indeed. I see. I've been listening to a lot of teenagers, but I'm not sure I've ever heard them say that. Still, he's trying so hard, it would be a shame to correct him. Yeah, I know. Still, it's whack. <laughs> hey, 16 days left until we send the calling card. Who dares? Okay, hang on. I've got a big brain plan. Hang out with Yoshizawa because she rarely wants to. Ooh, I'll hang out with Futaba. I probably got there's so much to do. I like rarely get to hang out with Yoshizawa. So we're gonna hang out with Yoshizawa, then the night's gonna roll around, and we're gonna go hang out with the twins. How's it sound? Is that a good plan? Good. Senpai! Do you want to do some training today? The truth is, I want to try something a little different. I was hoping maybe you could come join me. Yeah, okay. That's a spirit, senpai. We're going to train at the batting cages. Let's meet up there. It'll be fun, I promise. All right. I think I've only um, been here like once and the mini game was really hard. Probably didn't expect to be meeting me at the batting center, huh? <laughs> what are you scheming? It's a surprise. No. What are you scheming? <laughs> you don't have to look so concerned. We're only at a batting cage. Batting helps train your reflexes and dynamic vision. It also strengthens your stance. And really, those are important elements in gymnastics, too. It all sounds pretty plausible, right? Actually, I just wanted to come here. Honestly, I wanted you to see me hit a home run. <laughs> if I'm just watching. Alright. Um, I remembered something from when I was little. My father used to take me to the padding cages a lot. The other kids were scared of getting hit by baseballs, but I just love swinging the bat around. Every time I hit one, I kept thinking, it doesn't matter how fast they are, I'll slam them into orbit. I... I thought if I tried to put myself back in that headspace, I could get some ideas on how to get my boldness back. What do you think? That could work, right? Uh, yeah, why not? Regain the lost yes. confidence, right? Right? I think it'll really help. Look, my you turn. got this. Next up to the plate, Kasumi Yoshizawa. Here I go. Oh, come on! <laughs> Were they always this fast? I'll get the next one. <laughs> Gotta swing at it. Look, when you hear the sound, wait a second, then start your swing, I think. I, I don't remember the exact timing, but I think that's what it was. It's the next one that counts. Okay, no more warm ups. From now on, it's, it's, it's going to be 100% home runs. Eep. 
<laughs> what the? I'm sorry. I knew I was rusty, but I didn't expect to miss all of them. To be fair, this is a stupidly hard mini game. I feel you. I never see the ball coming, and I keep flinching. Oh, I didn't think my slump was hitting me this hard. Hey, don't give up yet. Senpai. You're right. I'll give it one more shot. <sighs> Stay calm. Don't be scared. Eyes on the ball. My turn. Mm. What? I did it. We did it. I hit the ball. <laughs> I saw. I knew you were watching me. That's how I did my best. <laughs> See, like a real come. Congratulations. Come on, you got to be excited with her. Be excited for her. That's how I did my best. Up until now, I've only been working for myself. I was so desperate to make a good impression. But since I started hanging out with you, Kira Senpai, <laughs> oh goodness, I started feeling like I wanted to live up to your expectations. They're really not that high. And that feeling's helped me feel so much stronger. I'd forgotten how it felt to work that hard on someone else's behalf. Uh, don't forget how that feels. Uh, uh, that's important. Thank you so much. Ever since I met you, Senpai, I've been discovering so many things about myself. But now, I feel like I'm closer than ever to getting my confidence back. Please, listen to me. Oh, right. I've been feeling a lot more limber and energized lately, too. I'm, I'm not totally back to normal yet, but... Even my grades have been going back up. Ooh, nicely done. Thank you very much. I still need to show you what I can do. Next time, you won't have to watch me fumbling with a bat. I'll show you an all-new, full-powered gymnastic routine. I can sense Kasumi's intense trust in me. I am thou. Thou art I. Wait, what? Thou hast birthed a bond clad in the heart's strength. This union, born and embraced by will unyielding, shall become the balefire that lights thy path. Thou hast gained a glimpse of the faith's truth, granting thee further power to tread the abyss. Huh? All right, she only had five, right? We're already max with her? Wow. Okay. All right. Anyway, we still got a lot to hit. It's your turn, Senpai. Give it all the guts you've got. Smash it into outer space. I only have four to five guts. I sweated it out in a batting session with Kasumi. Oh, sorry. I need to get going. Good effort. Thank you very much for today. You're you're welcome. Beep 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 beep. Oh, kitty, Senpai. Thank you so much for coming with me today. I haven't swung a bat in a while. My arms still feel kind of weird. I was kind of hoping to knock it out with the clang, but I'm just happy I managed to hit the ball. It's nice to dip into sports aside from gymnastics. Was there anything you wanted to try? Swimming. Yes, my favorite sport. I love swimming. Ooh, swimming. That's great full body exercise. Good for a well-balanced muscle tone. Huh. Okay, well, uh, maybe I just didn't swim enough then. <laughs> and since it's not as stressful on your bones and joints, it enhances your... <sighs> cardiopulmonary functions as well. Perhaps I can go next time. Or, wait, do I even own a swimsuit? I don't think I have anything other than leotards. Um, I have a request for you, Kira Senpai. May I ask you to join me for more things from now on? When I'm with you, I just feel so much more capable. Whether you want to go train again or just 
hang out and chat. Please, reach out whenever. Okay, I'll let you go. Good night. Okay, we still have evening. We're gonna hang out with the twins. Ah, you're oh. back. Hi, Akechi. Hey, hey, get some suity armor. Akechi. Even though I could hang out with the Ketchy, I'm hanging out with the twins. I already said it. Let's do it. All right, let's go. We're going to... Hang on. Hang on. I've got this. Velvet room. Hello. What are you going to do today? All right. <coughs> By the way, I did take a break in between the... Uh... <laughs> The last cut and right now so if i sound a little bit different that's because i woke up like an hour or two ago and i'm still a little tired but that's fine all right time to name the location justine you do the honors now listen closely the place we wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation is one halfway detached from this world it is said the time spent there is like that of a dream Men and women of all ages swarm the land, forgetting reality in search of happiness and wonder. This sounds like a similar form of escapism as the fantasies we saw in the movie theater. A sinister trap that uh, ensorcels humans. If such a place truly exists, then we must observe it in our a observe it in action ourselves. Does this location sound at all familiar to you? It could be Destiny Land. Oh what no. Are you doing? Uh, do you mean Destiny Land? Mm. The place with the. Uh, Maki Rabbit? <laughs> Destiny Land? <laughs> what an absurd name. Come on, let's get going, inmate. Go! Go! Caroline. What excites you so? <laughs> that bear's walking on its hind legs! Is it a demon of some sort? Is there a king living in that castle? Shouldn't we pay him our respect first? The parade's starting! Go, go, go! <laughs> what? What is that thing? It's huge! That's just my bag. <laughs> That's bad. His gleeful music. The rhythmic, monotonous dancing. The grins plastered across every spectator's face. This overstimula overstimulation is making me grow dizzy. Ha! This is a brainwashing scheme, isn't it, inmate? Uh, it's just a parade. <laughs> Everybody clap your hands! Uh, it's just a parade. Really? They all appear entranced to me. Make sure you don't befall the same fate. Although... It may benefit us to investigate just how they pull off such a successful mass brainwashing. Justine, let us conduct an inspection of the premises. Lead the way, inmate. Okay, uh, here's the food court. Hm, that wasn't nearly as impressive as I expected. You say that now, despite appearing quite captivated before. What with your outbursts like, that bear is so cute, and let's get in line to meet the characters, and so forth. What? Ah, ah, I, I said nothing of the sort. I was merely going through the emotions in the guise of a brainwashed human. Th that's all it was. Come on, let's go. Look, there's another line. Let's see where it goes. Huh, I suppose we don't have a choice now. We had better catch up to her, inmate. Okay. <sighs> oh, I can't believe we stood in line for 
I don't even know how long, and it only led to a bathroom. I was hoping we'd get to ride in one of those massive, crazed teacups going around in circles. Hey, inmate! What was that, inmate? Uh, it was a fantastical trip. <laughs> when you gotta go. <laughs> The stalls were lit like chandeliers, and the sinks looked as if they were designed for royalty. Were we actually in someone's palace that whole time? <sighs> well, that was fun. I mean, that was a functional assignment, <laughs> but we've had enough for today. Time to head back. Just a moment, Caroline. I have heard it is customary to bring back some sort of token gift for one's supervisors after visiting a place such as this. We should buy something for our master while we have the chance. I perused the wares on display earlier. The mouse ears or the stuffed bear? Which do you think our master would prefer? He strikes me as a stuffed bear kind of guy. The master cuddling a stuffed bear. <laughs> uh, Justine? It seems that even I could not avoid the brainwashing. Uh, please keep this a secret from our master. In any case, we have confirmed the existence of a world of dreams. As such, we formally acknowledge your assignment as complete. Here is your reward. Tetracarn. Look at the smiles on these people's faces. It's as if they've been liberated from their everyday lives. A human's desire to dream even reaches into their time in the waking world. A rather curious phenomenon for us, as we dwell in the space between dweem <laughs> and <laughs> in reality. Ooh, is another brainwashing parade beginning? Now, let us return. We have no need for that again. Let us return, inmate. I escorted the twins back to the velvet room as ordered. Cute. By the way, I think that's the first and only time we've seen, uh... Hey. Carolyn... No. We've seen Justine blush in an actual conversation. Progress. Fifteen days left until we send the calling card. Who dares? Oh, hey, what's up? What are we doing today? Any plans to meet up? <clears throat> I went to school today. Let me know if something comes up. Seems like Haru's at school. Wanna go see her for a bit? Alright. Alright. I'll be waiting. The only bad part about hanging out is that I have to do the Tiffer Rith voice. Makoto, I'd hang out with you, but I'm simply not charming enough, so. Shadow? <clears throat> what seems to be the matter? You need something from the roof? Please take me there. I'm authorized to use the back entrance to the school. Come on, we can go in that way. Ooh. Hello. Good day. Hello. <clears throat> what are your thoughts on this flower bed? I brought it here in hopes of doing some serious gardening. Yeah. Wow, she's so diligent. Once planted, the vegetables will be ready for harvesting in a few days. The number of days needed for a vegetable to grow depends on its species. Let me know if you'd like to grow any vegetables. So, what should we do today? Uh, let's hang out. Thank you. <sighs> My apologies. I'm quite busy taking care of the planters. It takes some time for someone as clumsy as myself. I feel I can become closer with Hariti. Yeah, why not? It's good to take a break every so often. You want to hang out with Haru? Yeah. Thank you. Well, if you insist. 
Hmm. You're quite skilled. Look at how you're moving the dirt. <laughs> the soil here would be so healthy if you were here more often. Oh yeah, you think so? All right, I could do that then. Honestly, I'm surprised that my gardening could be of use to our work as a phantom thieves. This started as just a hobby, so it's amazing to see it transform into a more practical skill. Um, beyond this, <clears throat> I've actually begun raising plants of my own at home. Uh, well, <laughs> coffee beans. <laughs> I think she's trying to help out a cafe. You like coffee? Hmm. Actually, I'm more of a tea person. I always make sure to have at least ten varieties on hand for my morning and afternoon tea. Anyway, I recently discovered the joy in the taste and aroma of coffee. I used to think it was purely bitter, but now I understand the depth of its flavor. To tell you the truth, I wasn't even able to drink it before. Oh? Ah, pardon me. I was just thinking back on the past. Um, can I share with you again? Hey, I don't mind. I'll share back. Um. <clears throat> As I mentioned before, I cannot bring myself to trust any of the employees at Akumara Foods. For as long as I can remember, the company has been run by my father. Being liked by him was always very important. Some employees would even come to in ingratiate themselves to me. <clears throat> but since his passing, things have gotten unruly. Most evidently, people have started trying to use my influence as majority shareholder to oust other employees. They say they come to me out of respect, but... I know they really just want to use me. I've heard so many rumors. Um, the worst one's about... <sighs> Takakuro-san. The new president. They say he was thrilled to hear my father passed. There may be truth to that, though. He's been with the company for years, but has only started being nice to me recently. He even offered to assist me with... An asset management. I fear he has an ulterior motive, though. Mm, one or three, honestly. What do you mean? Well, um, he even went as far as to recommend I sell my shares the other day. He said I could make a fortune. But I realized that if I did so, he would be able to strike the Akumara name completely. Takakura-san must be scheming to take the company for himself. At least, it's possible. <laughs> Maybe you should fire him. I mean, there's a lot of layers to it. It's, you know, not as cut and dry as you might think. Indeed it is. None of the advice I've gotten so far has been helpful either. Everyone only speaks out of their own self-interest. Yes. Thank you for today, though. I feel a little better after talking about this with you. Oh, and don't worry. I'll make sure I keep myself motivated, even through these difficult times. I can sense Haru's trust in me. I'd say the worst thing about these uh, Haru events is going to be doing the tip with the voice. Trying to sound sad as Tifferth just, uh, ain't it. All right. Rank two. I'm going to stay here a little longer, uh, to check the drainage. I need to make sure these vegetables turn out as good as possible for the Phantom Thieves. Goodbye. See you later. All right, then. I'll see you when I see you. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, sorry, I wanted to ask you something. It's not terribly important, but what vegetables do you tend to like most? I might as well grow things that everyone likes eating. Moonlight carrot, sun... Ugh, definitely not the tomato. 
or a jewel melon? Uh, hey, a jewel melon sounds kind of cool. Mm, not sure I have seedlings for that. It sounds a little too big for a planter, too. But it might be worth growing. A melon just looks so gorgeous. Maybe I'll try growing some in my garden. Thanks for sharing your preferences. I'll try my best to grow them. I hope you'll be able to keep helping me. Good night for now. Alright. See you when I see you, Haru. Now then. Oh. Oh, that's the end of the day. Wow. I heard about another breakdown. Again? Ever since the Kuma, there's been so many. Bad things are going way too far. Are they getting carried away? Are the police going to do anything? I'm just saying, this uh, is giving her you're back. so much time to prep. Beep, 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 beep. Inmate, we... Oh. Inmate, we are calling to notify you of a special assignment. We have heard of a location where human emotions have been rendered into solid form. We want to see for ourselves why they do that. So, there you have it. Now hurry up and get over here. Okay. Oh, or we could get level... Ah! Ah! I don't even know where they want to go. A place where dreams become real? What does that even mean? Hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I have the area, and then we're gonna hang out with Chahaya. Hi. Right. What are you gonna do today? No. Let's see. Oh, a repository for so-called art exhibits. Apparently, such places collect many objects solely for the purpose of displaying them. Autumn is supposedly referred to as the season of the arts in your world, so it is especially appropriate timing. Art is an expression of the heart. It echoes the soul of both artists and viewers, or so I've heard. The strength of one's heart is the strength of their persona. I am certain this place shall aid the inmate's rehabilitation. Does this location sound familiar to you? Well? What'll you do? I will do this tomorrow night. I see. Speak to us again when you wish to hear the details. But do not forget, these special assignments will only be available for a limited time. I, okay, I get it. We will go tomorrow night. Based on my reading, today's lucky person is a friend of the opposite sex. Anyone come to mind? My shop's open today. Okay, we'll we'll go tomorrow. We will go tomorrow. It's just ah. Um, are you sure you're going to be okay? I can sense it just by looking at your face. The death aura is emitting a strange light. Please be careful. Uh, well then, what would you like to do today? Well, let's do a verification test. The tower card has grown dark. Did you experience some sort of change at a high altitude? <laughs> if any place comes to mind, please let me know. Now, please take a seat. I don't think my bond will deepen just yet. Okay, well in that case, hang on, how close are we? Okay, well, hang on. If it... Fine, fine. Maybe I should invite her to the sky tree. Okay. A sky tree? Hmm. It sounds like a nice place. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> Ooh, what a beautiful sight. The skyscrapers are now under our feet. Doesn't that give you a sense of superiority? <laughs> That's so petty. <laughs> Such a delicious thrill. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, for some reason, when you say it like that, it makes you sound like a villain. When I'm at street level, all the tall buildings make me feel like Tokyo is a prison. But when I look down from here, it's surprisingly huge. I forget how big it actually is. 
All the members are still trapped in their tiny world. That's why I need to help them realize that there are more important things than destiny. And since I realize that, I have to be the one to help them. Okay, I have to do something. What? But for now, I'm going to immerse myself in the feeling of being a ruler of this city. And I'll do so by your side. Hey, all right. Here. I had a great time today. This is to say thanks for always encouraging me. May the light guide you. Sky tree lamp. Oh, you didn't have to get me anything. I feel like my bond will grow stronger soon. Now. Okay, let's return to the city. By the way, we're still dropping. We are still losing followers. My. Good morning, Shadow and Mona. We will hang out with the twins again tonight and go to the art exhibit. Hmm. The Phantom Thieves <clears throat> are all over the newspapers and television. We're outlaws now. We're at the point we can send a calling card, but it makes me anxious to sit around and wait. How about you? Yeah, it makes me antsy, too. We should have sent it three days yes. ago. Ah, so we're the same. Pauses like these make me think about a lot of things. Even more so since we can't afford to fail. So we're sending the card on the 18th. And it's a ways away, but I'd like to spend these days wisely. Yeah, hey. Uh, growing bonds is probably a good thing to be doing. Which is exactly what oh, I am doing. No. This country's been getting dangerous, and peace had been our only redeeming feature. The Band of Thieves should target somewhere mm, bigger, more global. Not this tiny island country. Like, oh, I don't know, the casino city of Las Vegas or something? It was like a dream when I went there. <laughs> I might not look it, but I'm good at card games. The four suits of cards all symbolize something. By the way, Mr. Kitty, look at this. Huh? How about you? Clubs is a club. Diamonds is a gem. So what does a spade represent? It's a spear tip, right? Sword? A sword? What? What? Okay. This it's a it. sword. Excellent. Huh? Is it really? The spade is a sword. Almost looks like one if you squint, right? No. And the heart is a holy grail. Huh? <laughs> what? Okay. Apparently I didn't know that, but that makes no sense to me. The heart was originally drawn as a cup. That would have made more sense. They say the suits also represent classes of people. The rulers of the Holy Grail are clergymen. However, there are cards that belong to no class. In other words, they have no suit. Whoa, oh man, I'm so nice. smart, he definitely didn't cheat. Oh, what can I say? Knowledge level five, baby. The only card without a suit is the Joker. Some theories say it originates from the Fool in tarot cards, but no one knows where it really came from. However, both are trump cards that can bring out unexpected effects. How you use them is critical. Yeah. You heard her, Joker. Pretty good name if I do say so myself. I kind of wish I'd given myself a cooler name. You could probably still change it. Be like... <laughs> The mysterious mystery cat. <laughs> I don't know. Fan of these are students. What? Who is it? I'm seriously, I'm seriously in love with Dr. Maruki. <laughs> no, no point in going to the nurse's office now. Hey, 14 days left until we send the calling card. Who dares? What are your plans? You want to hang out, really? Okay. Deal. Aren't we going to meet up? I can get there quickly from Shibuya. I'll be waiting in the station for a while. Yeah. I see. 
I'll be in the underground passage. Don't miss me. <laughs> Don't miss me. Hey. Indeed. Our only option now is to wait until the proposed date. How do you plan on passing the time until then, Shadow? Uh, you know, let's hang out. <laughs> ah, you must have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. You know, I would not have expected my slump to be so stubborn. I will have to take some extreme measures. Please, Shadow, I will need your help again. Could you join me? Yeah. I like the, but... <laughs> I'm in your debt. I owe you one. It seems the answer may have been right under my nose the whole time. You will see soon enough. Follow me. Yes. Oh, we're at... Oh, I see. We're at, um... <sighs> Give me a second. I'll remember his name. Hang on. Matarame's house. Palace. This place has not changed in the slightest. Are you going in? Hmm? Ah, indeed I am. I simply needed some time to ready my heart. <laughs> oh, the heart again. It seems it will never cease to be the, our topic of conversation. <sighs> the truth is, despite my best efforts to convey the meaning of the heart, I am no closer to understanding it. Such a troublesome roadblock never presented itself to me while I was living here. As you know, I spent most of my young life in this very house. That is why we have come now. I wish to reevaluate myself within its decrepit walls. By coming to this place, I may be able to rekindle the passion I once held for art. The passion of an inquiring mind on the hunt for pure beauty, before I learned of Madarame's foul nature. Hmm? It won't open. No, I surely left it unlocked. How could this be? What? The door has jammed? I suppose it was quite an old door to begin with. It had begun to rust even while I was a pupil here. It seems now it is finally broken. We should get it fixed, just like no. your heart. That is a nice idea, but I am unfortunately not the owner of the house. I cannot call a locksmith. I wish I could fix it myself. But I struggle with mechanisms as complex as this. I do not have the steady hand required to mend them. Ooh! Well, allow me, Yusuke. Oh. Shadow, you are capable of fixing it. You never cease to amaze me. Allow me, my friend. Let us be off. I see. Huh. The police confiscated everything. You know, I lived here not long ago, yet it feels almost like the distant past at this point. <clears throat> Being here has brought back memories, though. Whenever I acted out of line, I was made to sit calmly in this corner. Ah, and over here was a bookshelf, filled to the brim with various tomes. It contained art compilation books, for the most part, but there were a few manga tucked away as well. At times, I would take a break from my art to hide and read them. This is also where we would gather to eat when the atelier still had a large pupil count. Sensei is particularly fond of salty food, so... <sighs> Sensei, what am I saying? Why do I still treat him as my mentor? How long will I allow him to control my life? You alright? Yes. My apologies. The truth of the matter is, I used to paint in this room, and I did it simply for the joy of painting. No matter what I took as my subject, my hands would move of their own accord to capture its essence. But back then, I only saw the superficial beauty of the world. I could not see the grime beneath. After learning the truth behind Madarame's actions, though, everything changed. I strove to fight back against the newfound ugliness I saw, to display my talent to those who mocked me. 
I needed to do whatever it took to validate my artistic ability. In that search for meaning, darkness took hold of me. How could this be? Ultimately, I began to emulate that which I so deeply despised in Madarame. <sighs> you know, boss told me something very interesting when I was staying with you that one night at Leblanc. He said he didn't believe Madarame took me in for my skill alone. I suppose now that I think about it, there would be no way to know whether or not I would have been talented. Shadow, why do you think Madarame decided to take me in? He knew you had it in you. Yes. I agree. Though, can that really be true? He did it for a greedy reason, but still. Even after learning the ugliness of his true nature, a part of me still believes in my former mentor. I simply cannot come to terms with the, the stark dualities presented to me. The, the humble house and that loathsome palace. The kind teacher and the fiendishly deceptive artist. It seems even the workings of my own heart are inexplicable. What, then, of my search for pure beauty? Hello? Is someone there? I'm coming in! This is a problem. Could that be the police? Ah, I was wondering who could have been in here. You're the man from the exhibition. Indeed. Thank you for coming. Thank you for our conversation back there. More importantly, though, why are you here? I couldn't help but notice the door was open on my way home from work. Are you perhaps still caught in your slump? Yes. How do you know about that? I know a great deal about you, Yusuke Kun. You've made a name for yourself by patterning your work after the beautifully detailed Sayuri. But that painting at the exhibition was quite different from that. Have you begun trying out new styles? If you'd like, I can advise you. Materials, themes, etc. You seem as though you could use a helping hand right now. I... Most of your painting was done while living in this residence, correct? Your current lack of patron must be what is holding you back. Please, take my card. I've made a living investing in promising young artists like yourself, Yusuke Kun. Oh. Director of the Japanese Art Support Foundation, Akio Kawanabe? But why have you chosen me? You criticized me so harshly back at the exhibition. Because I feel you have talent. Now, my foundation can provide you with an environment that will allow you to focus on developing your skills. If such a lifestyle interests you, we can talk further at a later date. As for today, I have business I must attend to. But I hope to hear from you soon. Goodbye. Yes. The Japanese Art Support Foundation. My opportunity may have finally arrived. And it was all because you opened that door for me. Hmm. It seems good luck is simply a characteristic of yours. I'm in your debt. You have my thanks, leader. Yeah, no problem. It's just what I do. Rank 6. Chance to cure status ailments inflicted upon party members. <laughs> Alright. Shall we return home? I must be going now. I'd like to think on this some more. See you. Farewell. Uh. Beep, 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 beep. Hey. I apologize, Shadow. I lost my composure today. The emotions I felt in that house still remain within me to this day. I do think it's a good thing that I was able to realize all of this. By the way, that gentleman, Kawanabi, was it? What's your impression of him? Uh, he has dignity. I'm not going to say he's reliable yet. I had no idea. The director of art support... I had no idea he was the director of art support, but he definitely had a certain presence to him. 
and he was even able to instantly pinpoint my weakness. He certainly is no ordinary individual. As someone with neither a home nor a patron, I couldn't ask for a better offer. On top of that, I may be able to find a way out of my slump once I fully focus on drawing. In any case, this deserves serious thought. I may come to you for advice again. Alright. I'll be around. Alright, here's the plan. Kawakami does laundry. Uh, we hang out with back. twins. Yeah. Easy choice. I'm sorry. I just really don't like the reporter girl. Maybe, again, maybe she gets significantly better. But, okay. you know. Alright, let's see. Uh, uni. Ramen. Cat. And Ben. All right, call Cobb Kami. Hi. <laughs> All right, so she's doing laundry. So now we go over to the velvet room. <gasps> no way! It was only a one-day thing. I'm so sad. So we actually just missed our chance completely. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, no! I wanted to hang out with them! Oh! There's actually a part of me that's like, maybe we should reset. I See, but... They don't have their own rep, so I don't know how important it actually is. Oh, man! Well, what are you gonna do, I guess? Why, Mishima? Uh, uh, don't worry. I didn't say a word about you guys to those dumb cops. So, you did the request I asked you to do. Thanks. Oh, so, I've been researching that actor, and I came across some substantial new info. Are you free to hear what I found? All right. All right. Thanks. L let's head to the diner, then. Um, so, you know that actor I suggested as your next target? Apparently, he's marrying the idol from those rumors. He probably just couldn't live with himself after what he did to her. His reputation did a total 180 after he announced the marriage, though. Uh, people used to hate him, but now all everyone wants to talk about is how sweet and manly he is. Oh, at any rate... We can't oppose the will of the public. Good thing we decided not to change his heart. Support for the Phantom Thieves would have really dropped if we had. Uh, I need to make sure our next target is one we can win against. Uh, chill out, dude. <laughs> and what exactly will we win? <laughs> Proof? Proof that we're the ones doing the right thing. Actually. Oh, by the way. I came up with a new plan of attack. If we really want to make you guys famous, we need to do more than just answering promising requests. Right now, there are tons of idiots out there doubting you and trying to influence others to do the same thing. So, we're going to purge them. You really need to chill. Uh, sounds pretty twisted. Purging our haters. No, no. Oh, don't worry. I I'm not actually planning on hurting anyone. Uh, truth is, I looked up some of these idiots who were criticizing you and sent them warning messages. You know, something like, if you don't change your wicked ways, you'll be our next target, you know. Uh, I'll have you know, it's been working wonders. They're, they've totally stop dissing the pea thieves did you know what we're just gonna move on there's still some who say they don't believe but deep down they're just afraid of you guys <laughs> isn't that great plus now all those haters are gone people are putting a bunch of it more info on the forum Post after post after post. It's all please and help me. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> uh, 
fun? This isn't like you. All I did is find my own way to change people's hearts. I'm above the simple stuff like producing and advertising now. I can change the world. I have the strength to do that now. Oh. Uh? <sighs> oh, Akiyami-kun. Yo, Mishima. I haven't seen you since graduation. <laughs> we actually saw each other here not that long ago. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Hmm? Akiyama-kun? What? Are you okay? What do you mean? Does it look like I ain't okay? I, I don't know. You just seem quiet. Shut your mouth, Zero. I don't got time to be listening to you. Bye. Zero. Damn it. He acts like I'm a total nothing. But he still takes time to try and mess with me. <sighs> I've changed, though. I'm way better than a loser like him. I even heard he's been hanging out with some shady people. They're all scum. I wish we could change their hearts for the good of our society. Oh, wait, that's it. We could change his hearts instead of the actors. All right, it's decided. Your next target is going to be Akiyama-kun. Let's see, where is his info? Um, speaking of targets, are you guys going to come after me someday, too? Are you feeling guilty? Huh? You're really considering it? <laughs> I mean, if you keep going the way you're going, yeah. <laughs> uh, good joke. See you around. Anyway, I I'm heading home. Uh, I'll send you Akiyama Kun's info later. Mishima, Mishima's trying to push a target on us to advance his own agenda. <sighs> I should discuss this with the others. So, he just wants us to get revenge on a guy who made fun of him. Didn't he give us some other weird request, too? Something about that handsome actor? Is Mishima-kun trying to take advantage of us? Apparently, he has also threatened anyone who dares speak ill of the Phantom Thieves on his forum. Perhaps we should enact a change of heart in Mishima, not this Akiyama fellow. Wait, hold on. Whoa, wait up. He ain't that bad. Yep. Mm, I guess we could find out what's happening if we manage to find his shadow. I mean, he's already worried we're going to change his heart, right? We'll probably be able to track down his shadow in mementos. All things considered, I think our best course of action would be to defeat it and change his heart. Hmm. Mishima-kun. It almost feels wrong to consider such an option. But... Uh, we can't have him causing problems for us, though. Either way, we can decide whether or not we change his heart later. For now, we must meet his shadow. Alright. Now, let's carry out our plan. Let's head into mementos and track down Mishima's shadow. Oh, we're just going straight there. All right. Hello. <gasps> Who are you? Could you be the Phantom Thieves? <laughs> so you want to change my heart? Even after everything I've done for you guys? Me? Of all people? If you just shut up and listen to what I told you, the Phantom Thieves would get even more famous. And if you did that, I'd get some of the spotlight too. I wouldn't be just some stupid zero anymore. Ugh. I'm trying to make him sound like evil while also doing the Mishima voice. It's kind of hard, gotta admit. There's finally some hope back in my life. So why? Why are you so insistent on stopping me? Yo, losers! Get out of here! I want to talk to your leader. Alone. Yeah, I can handle. He 
guys do what you're gonna do. I got him. <sighs> this is all your fault. Before you came along, I knew my role in life. I was supposed to be the guy everyone messed with. I had accepted that I was a zero. Embraced it, even. But once I figured out that you were one of the Phantom Thieves, everything changed. You just had to get close to me. Damn it. Having I mean, seen a real-life hero do all this amazing stuff made me wish I could do something more. I want to change society, too. I want the world to notice me. If I could just make the Phantom Thieves famous, maybe I'll end up famous, too. Would that really satisfy you? I don't know. I'm not sure, but I don't have any other choice. I don't have any special powers like you guys. Heck, nobody even pays attention to me. In the end, that's why I need you guys. You're the only way I'll be able to make a name for myself. I know it's wrong, but if I can't push my way into the spotlight now, when will I? Anyway, just bring it on already. You're here to fight, aren't you? What? what? You aren't gonna change my heart? <laughs> Do it yourself. Hey. Come on, let's go. I'm sure he learned something if he's spending all this time with us amazing heroes, yeah? See ya. No. Uh, I... I need the Phantom Thieves. I need to be famous. I need to... I... Hi. Hello. Ooh, why, thank you. Alright, I'll see you later. <laughs> Saturday. This is when we can go to the main cafe, hey. right? Ooh, wait a minute. Master Swordsman. Here we go. Hmm? A heart that never backs down is the mm. secret. Okay, we already saw that. That's fine. Reedy, reedy, reedy. Hey, hey. Two out of three. We're almost done. Next time we're able to read, we'll get a huge boost to our guts. Let's get started. <laughs> well then, let's get this class started. I hope you remember what we've gone over until now. Well... Um... Mr. Haruda, please come to the faculty office at once. What's this? Everyone, make sure you study on your own until I return. Ooh. Speaking of huge boost in guts, here we go. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Mm. Okay, Bushido Spirit. Nice. Oh, so you finally finished reading Master Swordsman. I'm sure you must have a better understanding of the resolve that drives a Bushido Master. <laughs> You're right, I do. Look at that, three whole points. Still not enough to level us up, though. It's got it. That's a pretty big boost, though, I imagine. Apologies. It was nothing in particular. Sorry for the wait. Let's collect ourselves and return to our lesson. Yep. Ooh, that was close. How Akami helped us get a good chunk of free time, though. Right about that. It gave us a nice little boost to guts. Really kind of worked out. Oh, what up? Hey, why don't we try asking Futaba-chan to look into the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns? That's a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? I suppose Futaba's ability to process information is truly world class after all. Dang, you're smart, Haru! I already tried. Did you find anything? I know so much now, it's hard to make heads or tails of it. Suspicious people appear, then they disappear. It's been that over and over again. So they are manipulating information to keep anyone from reaching the truth. Well, there's one thing I know for sure. Whoever we're going against is more dangerous than we can possibly imagine. They're a master of the art, if nothing else. Hey, 13 days left. 
both of you want to hang out. You know what? I... Aren't we maxed with Ryuji? Hang on. Uh, confidant. Morgana. We're not? I thought we're ranked 10 with Ryuji. We're, wait, seriously, we're not? Oh, well in that case, maybe we should go hang out with Ryuji, get him to 10. We're also really close to uh, Mr. Big Nose and Morgana. I think both of those are story though. Really close to her. Man, we're not doing that bad, honestly. Okay. I think... I think we go hang out with Ryuji. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. I think we go hang out with Ryuji. However, this episode is getting really, really long, and I don't want it to be uh, three, four hours. So... Uh, our plan to infiltrate the palace did not go as planned because a certain someone said one word and suddenly we're all like, oh, we got to do what he says. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a Yusuke thing where I've just got the wrong feel of him, but I'm just saying. The new recruit probably should not have sway over the entire team. Just saying, world-class detective or not, but hey, what are you going to do? So... With that, I believe that's going to do it for this episode of Persona. And in the next one, we are hopefully going to make it to the palace. We're going to see, though. Uh, depends what the game throws at us, but I'm feeling optimistic at the very least. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.